Ladies and gentlemen and everyone in between, you're all welcome and you're all calling in to me, Ring Dallin, and today we're going to be talking about some the drama because if we are going to say that the whole Eurovision with Ukraine has been, you know, a walk in the park, it's been no problems, then well, that's a lie. Um, there's a lot of things that has happened and um, a lot of issues that has been needed to be solved and uh, the latest right now is that you know they have needed to bring in an international team now one of the people they are bringing in is uh, Christer Björkman and Christer Björkman has gotten uh, a lot of people angry uh, over the years and some of my very good friends in the Eurovision community despise him I'm personally actually a fan of his. I think that Christy Bergman is bringing a lot, of, a lot of good to Eurovision, and I really, really, really like uh, you know what he has been doing with the festival, uh, and also you know, especially you know last year when it was Eurovision in Stockholm. I think that you will never, ever, ever be able to top what happened in Stockholm unless you know it's another place in Sweden. Uh, it was just so perfect. It was so epic, and. Uh, he was a part of that team. Now he's been brought in to help out in Ukraine and I'm actually one of those who are happy about it. Uh, he, yes, you know, he has, a, there's a few problems uh, that he has caused. Um, because in Birkman, it seems like he puts, you know, the enjoyment of a show over it being fair. Uh, the contest isn't as fair as it used to be. Uh, and you know this you know comes from you know we, we no longer have random orders of the songs. It's very much if you are a big country and you have a big song, you will get a fantastic spot and you will get the perfect spot for you. But uh, if you are a country that has not been able to have a song that become that has become huge prior to the show, uh, then you will struggle because you will get put in spots that will ultimately. In very often you know, lead you to not actually getting where you actually deserve to be. You structure the show songs differently. And you see how you know Birkman, he you know, was one of those who worked with the running order for this year's Melody Festival. And you see it very clear there too that the top songs have always kind of the same spots. In a year where you know you see that the quality kind of has fallen in many people's eyes, I personally think that's been a very good year but I see how many people feel it has fallen and um, there's a lot of negativity surrounding Melody Festival in terms of people actually not enjoying uh, what we are getting presented and uh, I would say that I think this year has more entertaining shows and last year had more entertaining songs that's what I would say I think that the quality last year was better but I still think that this is a very good year so uh, but I, I, I see where people are coming from, I see where people are coming from because I personally myself think that the show isn't more important than the music. But of course you can't really when it comes to Eurovision have either. You can't just have either one spectacular show and then not focus on songs or focus solely on the songs and not on a show. So that's why you know for example with Stockholm and what happened in the, you know last year's Eurovision, everything was so perfect and so fun because it was a fantastic show, it was fantastic songs and everything just felt so great, it felt so epic, it felt so good and it felt so enjoyable and I hope that some of that magic from last year is going to come through in Ukraine uh, the team you know, is for people from all over the world and I hope that they will all bring so much good stuff to the table and if you're a fan of the direction things are going or not, I still think that we should all wish the whole team the best of luck and hope very much that they are able to deliver. So yeah, I wish them all the best and uh, I, I can't wait to see how things will go when it's time for the shows in Ukraine. <laughs>